Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. In the previous video, I have implemented the functionality of Search Cover API in Spring Boot and Angular for the admin module. Today in this video, I'm going to implement an API to search the car for the customer module. So let's get started. Let me log in here the customer. So you can see here the customer module. First of all, I'm going to create a new component that is a car search. We will add the new button in the customer nav bar. So let's go to our Angular project. Let me open here the customer module. In the components package, I'm going to create a new component. So let me open here the PowerShell. And here I'm going to write the command that is a ng g4 generate c4 component and name of the component that is a search hyphen car. Let's create this. And you can see component created successfully. Let me close the PowerShell. Let's go to our customer routing module.ts. And in this file, I'm going to register the search car component. So here I'm going to add the path that is a car slash search. And here I'm going to add the component name that is a search car component from customer module. Let's save this. Let's go to our app component.html. And you can see here the nav bar for the customer module. So here I'm going to add the new button with the caption search and the car over here. And here I'm going to add the path that is a slash customer slash car slash search. Let's save this. Let's go to our UI. And you can see here the new button added in the nav bar. Let me click on this button. And you can see it's navigating us to search car component. So let's go to our Spring Boot application and let's create an API. So let me open the customer service. So let me copy this method name that is a search car and the return type of this method that is a car DTO list and in the argument it will receive a search car DTO object. So let me add after that. Let's go to our customer service simple. And here I'm going to implement this method. Okay. So let's go to our admin service simple. And let me copy the code from here. That is a search car. You can see here the customer service simple. Let me paste here the code. Okay. Let's go to our admin controller and here I'm going to copy this endpoint. Let me open here the customer controller and here I'm going to add and we need to call method from our customer service. So let me add here the customer service and the method that is a search car. Okay. In the previous video, I have implemented this functionality to search the car in the detail. You can check it out. So let's run the application. You can see application started. Let's go to our Angular project and call this API. You can see here the admin service. So let me copy the method that is a search car. Let's go to our customer service. And here I'm going to add after the get bookings by ID. Let me update the URL of the API that is a slash API slash customer slash car slash search. And the mapping it is a post and in the argument it will receive a search car DTO. Let's save this. Let's go to our search car component.ts and here we need to write the functionality to call the method from our customer service to know the endpoint from our Spring Boot application. 
So let me copy the code from the search car component in the admin module. Let me copy this. Let me add here in the search car component or TS in the customer module. So let me import this form group from at the right angular slash forms and the form builder over here. And here I'm going to inject the customer service. And we need to call method from our customer service that is a search car. Okay. So let me open up the let me copy all the code. And let me paste in the search car component.html in the customer module. You can see here the HTML code, the first main div where we are getting the input values. First one is the brand type, color, and the transmission over here. And you can see the button that is a search car where we are calling the method from our TS that is a search car. And you can see the second div where we are showing all the searched cars that we are getting from the backend. Let's go to our search car component.scss. Let me copy all the code and let me paste here in the customer module. You can see here the properties. Okay, and you can see here the HTML code. So let's save this. Let's go to our UI, and you can see here the reactive form where the brands, type, color, and the transmission values are showing. So let me select here the brand like BMW. Let's click on this search car. And you can see we got the Z from the backend with one car. So let me refresh the component. Let me select here type that is a hybrid and the color. I'm going to add black. Let's click on this search car. Okay. So that's all for now from my side. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.